So we are recording, so you guys want to tell us who you are? What What are your names? I'm Logan. Logan, okay. And what's your name? I'm Caitlin. Caitlin, okay. Uh, so what brings you guys out here today? <laughs> so we came here since our last name is Star. That would make sense. <laughs> Back in there for you. <laughs> yeah, just talk right into the mic for me. There. So you're part of the Star family, right? Yeah. Okay. Who who who's your parents? Who, who do you guys belong to? I belong to um the Cole Star and um Philip Star. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. And Caitlin. Nice. Nice. Well, no, no. So we got brother Philip coming over. You want to no, jump on Kaylin, with us? Caitlin doesn't. Kaylin yes, doesn't, I think you do. Kaylin I think we're gonna make you do it. To, um, Kay, um, my family too. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm so. Who did you? Who's were you? Caitlin. No. Who? Who are your parents? Who are your family? Tanya <laughs> and Tanya and Daryl. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the boss is here to regulate. So welcome, brother Phil here. Well, hello. So we're. Gonna what are you guys doing? Talk We're going to do, how about this? Let's get you guys to do the intro for this episode. Okay. So we're going to have you guys starting us off for this show. Oh, yeah, if you don't, yeah, just slide that back in there. So how, how about you say something like, uh, we're going to start this off, and we are going to, I, I don't know. We leave it on the wing it principle here. Help me out before I say something inappropriate. So <laughs> say, welcome, welcome to the StarCraft 5th anniversary party. Enjoy there you the go. Show. Welcome to the show. We're going to be here for like five or six minutes. Okay. How about you? You want to say something? Come on, Kayla. Oh, come, come on. on. Say hi. Come on. Say enjoy the show. Stop being enjoy shy. The show. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and have a great time. Absolutely. <laughs> now you just need a little music. Yeah. <laughs> Can you be back? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> it's by Brother Phil, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, don't turn the channel. You've tuned into High Gravity. The show where we talk about beer, brewing, and bullshit. Where the only thing we take seriously is the next round. So grab a glass, fill it with something cold, and enjoy the show. Oh. We're drunk on, on hot wings. <laughs> We're drunk on hot wings. It, it was honestly, it was kind of an inebriating experience. It was not until we got to uh, the bomb. Number eight? Yeah. The bomb. So, Johnny, how, how did you like your wing? Fuck you, Daryl, is my response mm. to that. <laughs> Nobody dropped out today. No, they did. No, they didn't. We don't have to be present tense. We can be past. They lied. We're moving it. No, the fuck they didn't. <laughs> so everyone's probably wondering. So y'all know by the time this post what was going on. So High Gravity Podcast hosted the Hot Wing Challenge at the uh, StarCraft Brewery anniversary party this year. And somebody talked Mr. Johnny Orange into agreeing that if everybody did the wing challenge, he would do the last. Johnny one. Orange talked himself into yes. that. Yes. No, no, Johnny no. Johnny said, and I quote, I'll do it. If everyone in the hot wing eating competition finishes the hot wings, he would eat the hottest one. No, I agreed I to that. do that. And I was yeah. influenced by someone else. I was peer pressured. But I was I, more peer I don't pressured. Know pressure no, no, me and Daryl. I was peer more pressure. peer pressured into if everybody makes it to the final round, I'll do the last one first. Yep. And everyone made it. So it for, wasn't even for that scale, high. I don't remember the exact number of Scoville units of a jalapeno pepper, but most people who listen jalapeno to the show. Jalapeno is 8,000. Yeah, whatever. Average. So On the upper edge. Doing yeah. the math. Pepper X, which happened Six to be 12, the so. last sauce of this challenge. 2.4 million. 337.5 times hotter than your average jalapeno. It wasn't. It's bullshit. This guy right That's here did yeah. it with no problem. Yeah, yeah. I he don't care. care about him. I care about the four people that stopped. So, so the agreement was if everybody so, makes it to the final round, I'll do it. Four people dropped no, out no, they before didn't. that. Uh huh. Yeah, they didn't drop till after. Anyway, bullshit. Johnny's a bitch. So, <laughs> how did you feel about the hot wings, Alex? It was a good time. I I really enjoyed it. Um, I I you know I feel like uh, 
there were a few flavors early on. I mean, uh, up the to garlic one was good. Up to number seven, I was really enjoying it. Um, I, I had my ten-year-old uh, daughter next to me, uh, cheering me on, and uh, she was laughing at me when I when I was uh, getting some spicy feelings. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, we got to number eight, the bomb, and it was uh, it was so bad. It, it tasted. <laughs> I did like warn everyone. Yeah. I warned everyone. Yeah. You did. Yep. You it was did. bad. Yeah, no, you of... did. You did. There, there was a preface to it, and. And, you know, understood, uh, just pepper extracts and stuff. But honestly, I really think it ruined 9 and 10 for everybody. A thousand percent. Because agree. of the, the extract level of the of yep. the sauce. Um, so you didn't have that flavor. 9, and 10, no. nine and, and 10 were not 9 hot. and 10. And, and so, In you know, and my buddy that was with me that was doing it, um, you know, he quit at 8. And, and uh, he could have made the other two without yeah, knowing. No, and yeah, he, and he could have. Even. And that's what I said to him. I was like, dude, you would so, have been fine wait, for 9 so and 10. So who's your buddy? Not telling. Yeah, good. Yeah, not, not telling names. <laughs> because uh, eight, as eight y'all was, know, if you were there, I was begging anybody who just drops. You're helping a brother out. Eight, I'm okay. Yeah, with it. I the, bomb, yeah, no. the bomb was the only one I threw away. Immediately, yeah. I threw it away, and then I ate nine and ten. Like, yep. but like hmm. eight, I was just like, I took one bite, and I'm like, fuck this. Yeah, and <laughs> and it was hot, and you know, eight was bad. It was bad. I, I had Gross. tears rolling down my face, all yep. sorts of stuff. Was, but uh, you know, I I made so it. I'll a, come back to it in a bit. But yeah, I got a funny well, thought, add on to that. When number eight happened, and your buddy stood up, and yeah. he looked at me, and he's like, I'm like, sit back yeah, down. Yeah, no, sit back down. <laughs> we got that. We got an agenda here. <laughs> yeah. Agenda. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I believe by the end, four people called and threw up. Yeah. yeah Johnny, and and Johnny, Daryl's attitude was, sit on and shut up. Johnny just claimed that, because like, he didn't yeah. participate. You know? I, I and did this, not. This will, did this not. will come. Well, you were going to talk about this you know, in the future, but um, Johnny had Johnny committed to eating the anymore. hottest wing uh, if everyone in the competition finished, and yep. uh, so Daryl and I that were participating. That was the first agreement. Yeah, like all of us here participated, with the exception to Johnny, mm-hmm. and uh, it really was not a problem until you get to. And then it the it bomb. was it was yeah. like the third or fourth round of them. It the agreement was modified to if everyone makes it to the final round. Yeah. Like I said, then I would go first. Right. I'm glad you at least you participated. I'm glad that oh, uh, yeah, there was I'm, cheating. That was good. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll remember that in the future, Mr. Daryl. Well, yeah. we we got to say a shout out to Keith because Keith oh, came yeah. back and ate. He continued to eat every flavor. Didn't matter oh, yeah. which one it was. He ate all of them. He, and we talked, he so cleared this those This episode's going to be a little different than a lot of other ones because we're going to mix and cut you know, stuff together. So we talked to quite a few people during this horrifying yes. experience amongst all of us. So we're going to cut that in and out of this episode. So thank you for coming out. This is the first Brewery Blaze. We're going to follow the Hot Ones Season 24 Challenge. If you want to join the podcast, either at this seat or this seat, come and either talk about the wings that you just ate, the beer that you're drinking, or just random BS, then uh, PGBS, right? PGBS, I almost, you know, you did. <laughs> doing good. I, I mean, determined. You. you will have to sign a waiver for the podcast, and you're more than welcome to come and uh, talk on it. The podcast is released every Sunday. It's called High Gravity. If you've never listened to it, please don't ever listen to it. And I appreciate it. <laughs> You're supposed to say like, share, and subscribe to all your friends and family. Come on. Oh, yes. Yeah, trying bad. to build this, man. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> you can't tell them to not listen and build it. That was our plan last time, right? Ah, uh, reverse psychology. All right. Got it. It's supposed to be twice as hot as the last one. And it's not. not. I don't have high hopes for this crowd helping me out. I think I'm screwed today. You are absolutely... I should never have agreed to this. <laughs> Actually, what you don't know is we're really serving no Scoville wings right now. <laughs> until the very end, so you get stuck with And then one. it's just going to be the whole bottle inside. <laughs> They're all honey barbecue. <laughs> Everyone's in on the joke. Great. <laughs> You know, Daryl and I are known for our elaborate planning, we so are. we definitely put this together to, to troll you. We, we literally set this up after everyone got here today. We planned so well. <laughs> got him. It worked. Oh, Susie, I'll take one. I'll take one. Yes. So I was Thank thinking, you. people are going to start getting thirsty, right? Thank you. So maybe the first person that comes up and talks 
about what they've already had of the beer gets a beer. A free beer? A free beer. Oh, look at that. Jumps up like that. This is a man that appreciates a free beer. He do it right away. There you go. Sign this waiver. Pull it out. <laughs> this... <laughs> he was already We're moving. putting you on OnlyFans, just so you know. Everyone was encouraging me to go anywhere. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Now, is there a limit to what beer they can get, Daryl? All of them. <laughs> so, how, how are you feeling about it? Is, is it is it spicy yet? Uh, not 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 for me. Uh, the first one with the banana tastes more vinegary than the um, uh, banana. Closer. Yeah. The banana flavor wasn't coming through. It was a lot of vinegar instead. So it, it was any like banana. Yeah. Some people at my table were saying that they could taste the banana, but it, it was all real hard hard sell on for that one. I still liked it though. It was tasty. Very much so. Very much so. The last one was my favorite though. That one, that uh, barbacoa was delicious. Yes, uh, I would put that on basically anything. That's that would be a staple. But yes. a honey biscuit. Minus the honey, <laughs> just the biscuit. Who eats spicy biscuits? I don't know. He said on anything. It's the first thought that popped into my head. <laughs> I don't know. My brain went somewhere else. Nowhere good. Never does. I understand. Never does. Be good on some tacos. Quite in the back. I would put that on tacos. Or Thai food. No, you gotta save with the Thai pepper for the Thai food. Oh, they with the kimchi and the gochujang. Yeah, that was. Yeah, the what is it for? Mark's fermented kimchi. Thank you, Mark. Hmm, that's got a wonderful echo to it. Yeah, I, I, I could turn it up more, but I, I no, I think that's about stuff. good now. Yeah, I, I think that's about as much volume as we're gonna get because then it echoes pretty yep. bad. Oh, that's perfect. <clears throat> Thank you. I thought that was that was your beer. I was like, oh my god, you got it delivered and everything. I'm like, that's pretty great <laughs> in a new mug that I didn't pay for. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, new beer, I'll deliver it. Oh, I'll get in later. I appreciate it. <laughs> Free beer tomorrow. <laughs> All right. So what are we talking about? So, so which one did you like the best uh, so far? The the fermented kimchi one. <laughs> that one was pretty good. That was oh, very good. Um, nope. It smelled great. What's the one that I said put on lasagna. Um, the, the last bar- one, the barbacoa. Oh, the one we just did. Yeah, I, I said that I would put that on like uh, Italian food, uh, lasagna or like a spaghetti. That'd be good. The Italians are often well known for uh, not being insulted when you put things on their food. Whoa. Yeah, you make it valid. <laughs> I've been told. Yeah. yeah. What is told. the spaghetti sauce with hot sauce in it? And you cook eggs in it. What's that called? It's an Italian dish. Oh. Oh. I know what you're talking about. Uh, um, if I only have my AI with me. Yeah, well, <laughs> Damn, you know. Shatsuka? Is that what it's called? Yeah, you put yeah. eggs in the spaghetti sauce, but you have the hot sauce in it with it. Oh, crap. I'd eat it. There you go. I don't know. Eggs and tomato sauce, though. We all know really me asking a... Google doesn't work well. So. Uh, it's actually I'm really good. I'm not a good. tomato guy, so it's I, really good. I, I got nothing for that. I agree. The hotter, though, the better. No, if it's so hot you can't taste it, then it must be good, right? <laughs> That's the only thing you can assume. Uh, I keep so. wanting to touch my nose, and I know that I, I shouldn't. <laughs> don't don't touch your face. I shouldn't. Touch your eyeballs. <laughs> Get right on there. Hold the lid open, and put it right on the pupil. I'll touch. I'll touch your balls. How about that? Hey, hey, come on now. Hey, PG, let's go. PG. He's talking about the eyes. <laughs> yeah, he's talking about the eyes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. These guys don't get it. I got you. These guys don't get it. <laughs> now nah, wait. I'll wait till the end. I want to touch my eyes after I eat the hottest wing. <laughs> no, you talked about this is the one you like. Okay. Do you, you want to help? No. <laughs> you eat hot food normally? Yes, I do. Enjoy uh, hot food? Yeah. I, my whole top shelf in the fridge is all hot sauces. Good. Nice. So, so you got this no problem. So far. So far. So Johnny's eating the hottest one we have out here. Yep. The, the This would be my first experience with the Pepper X sauce, though. So it would be... Uh, Does that come up before the last one? Yeah, yep. but I think you're going to be fine. Then. I'll be all right. So we got the next round of wings coming out. <gasps> yes. So does Miss Jim want to get on that? And if you want to grab... Did you just call me there, Miss Jim? Mr. Jim. Miss Jim. Yeah. It's 2024. I guess I can't judge. How did you identify? That was terrible. <laughs> You can't ask that. My question pronouns anymore. are hot one. <laughs> um, let's see. You know what we should have done though is I got a little extra up here. We should have waited till the end. If everyone made it, you had to eat all of them. 
There's, there's one of each wing stick. Yeah, there's no one for each, each all the way through. Yeah, he can just sit here and just pound <laughs> them out. Backwards. Yeah, I was just going to say, do it backwards, though. Make him do it backwards. <laughs> that way he's crying as he's doing it. <laughs> well, he wouldn't Big be. Johnny he he probably won't be able to taste at like nine, eight, seven, six. <laughs> what do you mean, making me do them all backwards? Yes. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I said what you should do is see if we get him to put a little bit of sauce on every one of, like, a little from every bottle on one wing and do that. No, we're not doing yeah, that either. That would dilute that it. Either. That would dilute the heat. <laughs> I don't know about that. I want you to eat the pure heat. Oh, God, my stomach's already hurting. <laughs> <laughs> Butt's hurting from this chair. Yeah, I'm really, again, I'm Poor really Johnny. surprised. Like, I feel I'm like nervous, man. <laughs> it should be spicier. Like, I feel like 54,000, like, it should at least tingle more. <clears throat> But that I mean, was really tasty. I like that one even more than I think the maybe the bread one. might be holding some of that spice back. Do a little breading on it. Damn bread. <laughs> it's always holding me back. I don't think so. No, but that was really good. You, you have to I come like up here so lot. we can hear why. All right, so we have Bob here who says the breading does not affect the heat of the wing. No. I want another one. That was good. He was jumping in here. Yes, so the breading does not. So I've read a lot about this. Breading, breading does like, not affect. Like, breading does not affect the heat of anything. It won't cut it. If anything, it'll keep it on top. So you feel it more in the front end than you do in the back end. That one was sweet as all get out. I can't. I know you want to feel it in the back end, Jim. I can't help myself. I just I need to say things. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. And I'm trying to be PC. Keys. 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 Bring the keys. Bring the keys. Okay, good. I, th I thought insu insuendos worked. Insu you can't, you can't give me oh, slow pitches. You can't give me these slow pitches. I'm a slanderous pervert. No, no. I thought you liked it slow. Yes. And fast. You know... We like it all sorts of ways. There's no the, the cardinal rule. We're of talking about high wings gravity. Still, right? Is Let's no keep kink it on shaming. topic. Let's no kink on. shaming. <laughs> okay. That's that's our one rule. Uh, that's the that's the one rule. No, that and keep your shirt on. No, so I guess that's two rules. The one okay. rule is yeah. But rule number one is keep on. your shirt Wait, on. <laughs> raise your hand if you've ever been on the podcast and lost your shirt. <laughs> you better raise it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Two. Two of us. Two of us. <laughs> I'm ready to take it off again. Don't. I only did it because they did don't. it. Please don't. Please <laughs> don't. That's rule two. Keep your shirt on. So that was really 54? Yes. You do now. That was weak for 54. I, I thought the same thing. Like they, We I feel only like did that because Gary wasn't here to enforce They're not school. scaling Sorry. up. Like no. maybe if we like started with that one, it would seem hot. But like, yeah, they're not. I thought that one was had a good taste, and it was very, very sweet, but a good taste. Yeah, that's that sweet back end for sure. So yeah, you have a sweet back end. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yay! Hey yo! You have another hundred bucks? <laughs> yeah. Well, next year we're just so gonna I gotta, advertise. This I got as a buck an fifty, and that's a favor to you. Adults Better. only event. <laughs> Better. Better. All right, I'm gonna go sit down so I can eat the next wing. Oh, all right. Thank I'm, you, sir. I'm excited mm. for it. I'll come up after the bomb, though. Yes, please. <laughs> I want to hear everyone's opinion of that sauce because it's super good. <laughs> you are such a liar. It's so good. Oh, my God. It tastes exactly like what you imagine it tastes like. Yeah. Like a burning down house full of plastic. <laughs> Nuclear waste. <laughs> burning down house full of plastic. You're really You'll selling me on the idea of this. You'll one, get man. there. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> no drinking the hot sauces. It'd be funny, though. And no eating the pencils. We have pens. We're good. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just saying that for Amanda. Well, she's not here, so... Does Amanda listen? I don't know. She just she said, don't <laughs> eat the pencils, though. And I feel like that's a, a good motto to live by. Like, baby, don't eat pencils. That's the first one, though, where you can actually feel some of the heat start. And when you get spicy and you can taste it and it's good taste... I like that. Nothing wrong with that. That one's starting to suck. <laughs> we did say after five... First five are flavorful. After that is when it starts. Mm. My lips feel You're warm. You're not tapping out, I can are you? feel the tingle on my tongue. He's I like not that. tapping out, is he? Oh. Oh, I thought he was. He's there for moral support. Uh, I might not make it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the price of water has just gone to $5 a cup. <laughs> the price of milk has gone to 50 <laughs> All right. So, you, uh, just everybody walks away. Have at it. I got a got a emergency contact from my husband. He's getting there, guys. <laughs> Feeling like you might have a heart attack at this point. We're only on coming up on number seven. Oh, well, that's no good. So that's Take looking good for you. 
I'm okay. I mean, I don't want to wish uh, it, well for that. If but... he traps out, you're in luck. I'm okay. I'm, I can't be okay with that. Then I'm we'll guessing. change the rules a little bit then. If someone okay. taps out... Oh, no, not yet. I'm not saying it. Okay. It'll get worse for you, by the way. Oh, crap. You don't want people to tap there out. There we go. Oh, no, so no, no. We're not adding complicators. You, you that better, had to be... The you rules better had to be established everybody. before we started. Vote for everybody. That'll be a new secret clause you don't know about yet. Well, no, we got to agree before we start. It was if oh, everyone okay. Jim and finishes... I did. Jim and I agreed to this already. I got the recording <laughs> <laughs> okay thanks guys yeah, thank you thank you so is anyone's mouth still burning oh yeah anyone getting worried now a little bit <laughs> ah. <laughs> excellent sorry right, whenever you want to just just call it <laughs> <laughs> she's got this crap <laughs> there you go is that okay for the contact info yeah yeah so Keith, welcome to the show. This is your first time on with us. Well, thank, thank you. Welcome. Appreciate it. So how are you enjoying the new mug? Uh, you know, I'm I'm very happy that I have a mug now. Uh, Excellent. There Excellent. was a whole year of shame, you know, uh, miss, yeah. messing up the opportunity to uh, to get last year's mug. But you know, that's okay. Fifth year anniversary. Absolutely, it's a good Great one time. to start with. Yeah. Absolutely. So what you, what you thinking about what we got going on so far? How are you enjoying them? So far, so good. Um, you know, first off, the wings uh, just starting to feel hot, so I'm, I'm feeling great about that. Cool. Uh, as far as the beer, uh, America the Beautiful, I forgot to buy beer, actually, because uh, I was just dropping off the uh, the hot sauce. But uh, the beer, America the Beautiful, super solid. I mean, I like Fantastic. the sweet beer, so, yeah. you know, it's it's been uh, You really taste very, a lot uh, of the cherry and the lime in it. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Very refreshing. Very refreshing. A little sweet, but it's still it's good. That's what it's supposed to be. It's that style. It's phenomenal. The next one will probably be Blue Devil. I, yeah. I, I want to check that one out, too. But, I mean, That's good America's mix Beautiful has been Shane very too. solid. Mm. I had to go get a Blue Devil. Did you? Yeah, I had to get a Blue Devil. Now, with hot sauces, I know you eat hot sauce. Oh, yeah, you know it. <laughs> you make it, too? I do. I do make my own hot sauce. Um, His hot sauce is really good. Yeah, yeah so, it, well. The one I tried? The last one you made, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it, well, uh, last year we grew um, uh, ghost peppers along with other uh, other peppers, and uh, I had pulled a recipe for. Not, I don't mean to interrupt you. Sorry, welcome yeah. back. We got the next round of wings on the yeah, way. Hey, over here, how's that? Yeah, yeah, plate. yeah I'll, I'll grab, yeah, grab, grab my plate, my beer. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I do want to hear the rest of that story. We're going to go to Jim for the next description one first. From Black Eyed Susan. This one is called Red Flag. We finally broke six digits. This one's 126,000 oh, Scoville here units. We go. With a name inspired by pirates, this sauce can be an agent of chaos. Sweetness from the muscadine grape juice and raspberries just barely balanced the spice of the scorpion peppers. Batten down the hatches. It's only getting spicier from here. Fantastic. Looking forward to it. Oh, that one is still, it's making my mouth water still. Yeah, I can still feel it, which is I nice. I liked that one. Yeah. That was a good wing. I appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, so the uh, the hot sauce I made last year was uh, with ghost peppers. I, I grew ghost peppers. Uh, I decided to go look up recipes and accidentally looked up habanero recipes for uh, hot sauces. They're like, yeah, put like 10, 15 of those things in there and, uh, you know, a couple of like, little extra things, some vinegar and stuff like that. So I did that. Uh, uh, and then I was like, wow, this is hot. And I'm like, wait a second. Looked up the uh, ghost pepper recipes. They're like one to two ghost peppers per, <laughs> and then like supplement with other peppers. I'm like, nah, come on, man. <laughs> Great All sauce. Though. It was really good. I liked it a lot. It was spicy, but it was also flavorful. Like you could eat it on chips or on food. Yes. I I'm down to the last bottle, though, or the last uh, container that I made. So nice. I've been, been enjoying it. So. Well, you, you, you go ahead and you keep enjoying that. <laughs> Wherever you have it. Hey, <laughs> Gus, 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 you got this. <clears throat> no, no, you don't. You no, you don't. This, Tap out. Come on. I think Just everybody is here. Tap out. 126,000 <laughs> Scoville units. All right, now we're getting serious. <laughs> we are officially into the six digit club. All right, let's try it. Damn it. <laughs> All right, here we go. It doesn't smell as spicy as the last one. <laughs> Right up front, it does not taste as acidic. That last one was more acidic than this. It was. It was a lot more acidic. Ooh. Normally, with acidic comes more burn, but... Ooh, that's nice, though. I like the flavor. That's good. Huh. Right up front, it doesn't seem as hot, but I think it's got a subtle back end coming in. Take your word oh, for yeah, it. The way it tastes, I You've got a subtle, subtle back end back coming in. in. It's definitely built. Beep. Beep. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Not up we'll front, see. though. I'm going to give it some time. I want to wait and see what happens. I think it's going to build. You know, I, I started having a theory 
that hostages are very much like um, edibles in the sense that like they say that there's a certain hotness or a certain high, but really it kind of depends on the brand, kind of depends on how they yep. make it. Well, how it's do they, wild. How do they test for Scoville units? Isn't it a taste tester that puts it in a certain amount of diluted water to see if it has any taste or spice? It used to be. <clears throat> oh, is it strip? <laughs> yeah, now you have to strip. You now, see how hot now, it is. No, that's the answer. Right, we'll here. We, <laughs> sure time. Hey, yeah. <laughs> really like that one, though. That was yeah, nice. it was tasty. So, it's actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's making me want to drink my beer. Well, that's good. It's the first one that's made me want to drink my beer. See, aren't wing challenges you're not supposed to have any drinks or anything until you're done with it? Have you, ever watched, have you ever watched Hot Ones? No. <laughs> they drink in Hot Ones. Oh, well, all right then. I mean, th- there are some people who enjoy that challenge. That yeah. Added challenge. So, like, we're not going to drink anything until we're there. I live too far off the road for sa- uh, cable, and the trees are too tall for satellite. It's on YouTube. So I have an antenna. I'm, I'm just YouTube. thinking how everyone signed a waiver. I'm just thinking about it right now. <laughs> everyone signed the waiver that they're willing to die for this. <laughs> yeah. And they paid That's for commitment. it. That is commitment. <laughs> I mean, if they're willing to sign a waiver for this, what's next you're going to bring? You know, I mean, that's what's like. <laughs> We said balut. It's a balut eating contest. Oh god, that's I try it. terrible. <laughs> balut with hot sauce. <laughs> We're gonna have the petting zoo the day before, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you pet duck embryos. <laughs> you could. See, my problem is, why do we have delicious tasting beers in front of us and like a ten to fifteen minute wait between wings? I'm just sitting there like, well, I mean, I'm gonna drink. It's to sell more beer. <laughs> buy more beer. Thank you. Strategy. <laughs> Everyone so buy can, more beer. Now's your time. So you can feel the full effect. That's right. You gotta let it yeah. soak in. Because drinking doesn't make it feel burn. better. Ride the burn. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it makes it worse. Like, yeah. decidedly. That's the goal. I can see. That's good stuff. Ah. That one made my Oh, no, it's all right, Gary. You can let him quit. No, you can totally let him quit. That is okay. <laughs> Everybody, you got this. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Johnny Orange believes in you. No, Johnny does not. Johnny wants you to fail. <laughs> the next one. Is the next one the one? Next one's the bomb. All right, well, I'll, I'll uh, relinquish the seat then so other people can comment on it after they try that one. Thank you, Keith. Good luck. Yes, thank you for joining us, Keith. No one's tapping. I got all my hopes and faith in the guy over there. <laughs> Gus will not tap. Oh, man. He's got this. I'm starting to feel a little bit of the adrenaline. Just a little bit. <laughs> I like it. Mine's growing. I feel the fan shedding. Is there anyone else in the audience possibly not paying attention to us who wants other people to fail? Ooh. One. I have one friend. <laughs> Two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Don't touch your eye. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Reminder, do not touch your eye. <laughs> or or other things. Yeah. <laughs> or other people's eyes. Yeah, or that's going probably to a good rule of gloves. <laughs> I think so, yes. I didn't read the waiver. Oh, I didn't sign a waiver. Hey, hey, I wrote it. I don't I know. Do it. You don't need to, Johnny. <laughs> the wing waiver. We got the next round come. on the way. I regret to inform you, ladies and gentlemen. Now it's going to start hurting. The bomb evolution. 135,600 Scoville oh heat God. units of pure shit. <laughs> it's so <laughs> Becky does not like the smell. I'm looking at her reaction. <laughs> it is oh, nuclear waste oh that we are having you Look eat. Look at them from she is here. Not liking this. Look at those oh. from here. <laughs> it's that time. This might be it. Oh, this while is you Gary. look at Gary. Look at Gary. While you've yeah. been looking right for it. a distinctive short bottle, this version is created to make Beyond Insanity is. <laughs> Tastier. <laughs> they claim it's tastier. Yeah. This is probably the worst hot sauce you will ever do in your life. Just FYI. So I guess at least I'm not trying hey. to. If, if you make it through this, you're fine for the rest. They said they made Please it tastier. Drop out. Someone just, just throw the towel in. Oh, was that a hand up? Was that a volunteer? So this sauce has never tasted good, and they redid it. So they say now it tastes good, but it never has. By the way, I don't hate it. <laughs> I don't hate the smell. You can eat it, Johnny. It smells like a uh, like a Cholula and ketchup. No, it doesn't. That's what I get. I love Cholula. Don't you insult the good name of Cholula like that? Tabasco's better. How dare you? 
How dare you? This guy thinks Tabasco's good. What's wrong with him? I am three times your size. My opinion on food means more. I'm the one eating hot sauce. My opinion on hot sauce means more. That's fair. Haha. I got two. Uh, they brought me double napkins. All the things. This might be the only wing I don't eat all of. This is the only one that's really gonna suck. Oh, if you make it through it this there. one, you've got them all. I'm good. I'm good. I, wanna, <clears throat> I don't even want to touch it. All right. Yeah, the smell is not great. I'm not even. Gonna I'll, touch I'll it warn you either. right now. The taste is not good either. <laughs> uh, I've more. had this one before. It's oh, it's but, air. I can smell it more in the air now, and it does not smell. Good luck, good. Godspeed. <laughs> Come on, tap out. The bomb or dub bomb. Come on, anyone ready to tap out whenever you want to go? Just just Fucking tap on out, broke. stand up, and on this one. we're not tapping tap. out. Don't come do on. It. This is the worst one. It tastes Holy like crap. <laughs> I know. Yeah. No. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, crap. It tastes like Satan's taint. <laughs> Four more. Four more. You might just coming around that one. I really like the umami flavor on that one, you know? <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> so I'm, I'm checking out the crowd, and everyone is disappointed in the taste because it sucks. Well, you warned them, in all fairness. But I don't think anyone's dropping out. I think Come we're good. Come on, somebody help me out. I think we're good. <laughs> oh my god, look at Jim. It's so gross. <laughs> it is it is a terrible taste. <laughs> terrible. I'll show you. Where's the Uh no, thank you. I kept I still got one. Ugh. <laughs> I'm not happy. That's not the right one. The best part is there's only two more. Yeah, yeah. So free for you to stop anytime. Please. I beg of you. I'm crying. <laughs> I'm tempted to start bribing. I got a few beer tickets left. That worked to get someone on the line. I'll double if you stay in. <laughs> oh, boy. I think I need my first pretzel. <laughs> so I want you guys, you or a combination of you guys to say something like, sounds like a good time for a commercial break. I already said butt cheek in it. <laughs> I can't use that one, but uh, I want somebody to say, it sounds like a good time for a commercial. Yeah. It sounds like a good time to, I'm um, having commercial. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I did not like this episode. <laughs> Here's to you, drone pilot. You take to the skies with the skill of an ace aviator, capturing breathtaking views and delivering packages with precision. Your steady hands and sharp eyes turn technology into art. Here's to you, the high-flying hero, making the world a smaller, more connected place. Oh, man. I'm seeing all these people's reactions. I am not looking forward to what's coming. <laughs> Welcome back to the mic, Mr. Keith. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I, I see some sweater. Uh, tears rolling down your face there, brother. A little bit of sweat, a little bit of tears. Yeah, yeah. Um, this one's sharp. Yeah. This one kind of feels like you're, like, licking a knife. Oh, wow. I've done that. That's not pleasant. Uh, well, it was an axe. But... It's a video. Yeah. A video? Yeah, yeah, a horror film shoot. Um, we, we did that, and I licked an axe. Oh, very cool. Funny. Hashtag Slaughter Park. If anyone wants to watch that, it's fun. Slaughter Park, said? Hashtag Slaughter Park. Slaughter Park. Yes. Okay. Yep. I play the character Big Daddy. <laughs> Big Daddy, all right. Where was and the base out of? a jump in heat, too. YouTube. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I touched my face. <laughs> Ooh, mistake. Wow, this one's really getting serious. Everyone's getting up, walking around, getting drinks, and uh, oh, that guy got water. That was stupid, dude. No, I got water. <laughs> you need it. Water makes it worse, man. No, it doesn't. <laughs> well, you get a temporary relief. You get like, yeah. like a second or two of like, a little bit. oh, this is refreshing. And Anything to wash the taste of pepper extract out of my mouth. All right, that, that's somewhat fair, I guess. I am not going, man. My anxiety is growing round by round here, especially knowing there's, what, oh, two more? So what, uh, what was oh, the deal, crap. though? You're going to only have so the last one, So right? if everybody completes it, I'm going to have one of the last Actually, one, the hottest one. I'm not on the very last one, if everyone makes it to the last one, you should be the first one to eat it. Uh, well, yeah, everyone's going to do the last one if they make it. You can Chris it off that number 10, you know, if everyone's there. Two more. 
Well, that, that's the thing. There's only one more if we agree to that. If we wait for that, then I have a chance. Screw it. If everybody makes it to the last round, I'll go first. How about that? All right, everybody. I know you're feeling it, but I think we can make it. I think we can make it to number 10. No, no, it's all right. We can have someone tap out now. I'll be all right with that. Or after the next one. Let's see what happens with the next one. Disgusting. <laughs> I hope the next two taste better. I, I'm hoping someone get, calls it. If anyone else want to come up, say something while we're here. Well, come, ha, come on the mic and say it. Well, Johnny, out of all the other ones. Here comes God. Oh, go ahead. All right, no, no, no. I was going to say, Johnny, out of all the ones that uh, everyone's tasted so far, which one are you, like, the most excited to try? Because, oh, the yeah. garlic. I love garlic. It's not anything to do with the heat. It's strictly the garlic. I love garlic. The garlic was super solid. I, yeah. I highly yeah. recommend it. All right, I'll, I'll pass out the mic. Okay. All right, Gus, the one everyone is voting for and not to follow off. I'm not trying to push you here. I'm not going to shake your hand because I don't want to get <laughs> hot on my hand. But Come on, man. You can't let me down here. Just throw the towel in. Tell us you're coming in to turn don't it do in. do it. Throw the plate down. Call they, it done. They started getting hot on about wing seven. Ooh, and they started getting hot about wing seven, but that the taste of that one was terrible. I believe it. Looks like we got number nine coming over here. Yeah, the taste was bad on that one. I'm hoping these other two taste better. Taste out of your mouth. <laughs> I hated I'm not. That. I'm. I'm nervous, man. You know, I'm so happy people. The bomb paid. is worse than everything. <laughs> but I'm so happy people paid to torture themselves. <laughs> Trust me. Quick question before we say dig in. Is anyone worried about this one? Yeah. A little? Uh, Gus back to two. I was worried before we began. We got this now. Hi, All right. Um, pepper sauce. Let's dig in. Yep. It's going to have, it's going to be fun. So what we got for reactions here? Go. Ow. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm already crying. <laughs> Nope, I'm crying really fast right now. Oh, man. Oh, nope. man. Oh, man. Couldn't even finish that one. Really? Actually, that tastes good. Take it back out. No. <laughs> it tastes good at first. Oh, and it still tastes hot. Don't get it? I'm scared. Nobody's done yet. Everyone Actually, af after the bomb, that's... Good. Am I the only one that doesn't really feel that? No, that's, that, that's amazing. I'll do that again. Yeah, like I don't even the, feel the it. The taste is better. A lot better. I'm scared. <clears throat> you know, we should probably change it and have Johnny do the bomb. <laughs> There's some here. I'll tell you what, I'll do the other one and what the hell? No, we'll do the last one first. Oh my god. That's not actually bad at all. No, no, really not. Yeah. That's because our taste buds are numb. That's because the bomb After the eating buds. nuclear waste, you can eat anything. <laughs> Oh, that's, Johnny, you're in trouble. Crazy. I know. I'm scared, man. Well, I'm we really... built up. We built up to it. Yeah, so I know. You're, you're just got the straight heat. <laughs> I know, and I didn't have much to eat today. I think so that's I'm gonna really hate myself. The like, reason the bomb is so bad is because it's made of pepper extract. <laughs> extract is just basically pure capsaicin. It's mm. it does not taste good. It's just hot. <laughs> <laughs> we loves we loves them too much terps. So the best part is everyone gets their last wing. Johnny has to eat it first, then we all can quit. <laughs> oh, not cool, bro. Not cool. Let's go, Johnny. What's good, I know. I'm scared, man. <laughs> So I work on a charter boat. I haven't had this kind of nerves except going into a big storm on that thing. Am I crying? The guy in the red shirt back there. You let me down, brother. You let me down. Everyone gets an ice cube of milk. You know, that last one, though, actually was not that bad. No. I, even, I believe it. But. That's usually how it goes on the show, though, too. After the bomb, like, they eat the last two wings, and it's just like... You don't taste anything, so I feel bad for I'm you, Johnny. I'm screwed. You're going to oh, taste the full I'm effect. Screwed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I only have water to wash it down <laughs> Oh, I needed to burp. It was necessary. <laughs> All right, so is, is anyone worried about the last one? <laughs> You're good now, right? 
We beat Nick. On chips. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyone else want to come up say something while we're here? Or anyone who has said something want to come up and add after we've been through a few? Aha, we got a new one. Not oh, technically. Not this guy again. <laughs> oh, great. Hey, did you bring us 25 beers? <laughs> rule number one. <laughs> no, that's rule number two. On, Gary's here to enforce that rule today. Welcome back. You've been on the podcast yeah. before. You might have heard about me today. We did. I'm alive! <laughs> Woo! The shirt's coming off. I'm hot. Gary's I, not paying dude, attention. Or it's going to melt off. <laughs> Dude, it might. It might just burn off. You never know. Man, my favorite was the yeah. first one so far. <laughs> I want to try that. I love garlic. And flavor um, was the first one. And the, uh, when was the last garlic one? I, it kind of smelled garlicly. It might have been a seventh one, maybe. The seventh one was the Black Eyed Susan. That one was good. I, actually, I think it was the one that was the cat. Oh, the, the chairman meows? Yeah, yeah, I think that was yeah. the one. It's I love that. had a, a garlic leak taste scorpion to it. Pepper, I, I know that scorpion. Yeah. Scorpion peppers taste good, that was scorpion. but then you get the heat. Yeah. You can dilute them. Blend them up with bell pepper. Yeah. <laughs> Whew. Oh. <coughs> you worried about the last uh, one? I think she's nah. on her way. Someone's Me on. neither. After the bomb, that that that, that, that ninth bomb, one? Okay. That bomb that smelled like diesel. And ah, hell, like she's diesel. on her way. <laughs> I've never tasted diesel ever in my life, but if that, if oh, that it's got a diesel, you had to taste it, that's what it tastes let's, like. Let's go to Jim for the description of Everyone the tenth one. Everyone describes it with things they've never You've tasted all before, made it. they imagine are heinous. They're on their way here, and I'm going to be the first one to try it. I'm scared. I hate you all. Nobody tapped out. I hate you all. No, it Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Drum roll for all those who have made it. No, absolutely not. No. This is number 10, Hot Ones, The Last Dab Experience. And they spelled it all cool with an X instead of EX, X experience. 2,693,000 oh Scoville units. <laughs> to put that into perspective, it is just shy of four times the Scoville uh, level of the previous wing. Over here. Oh my god. It is. Oh, look at her face. It is 20 <laughs> times the Scoville units of the bomb. 20 <laughs> times. It's our last wing. You've made it to the pinnacle of Mount Scoville and just a few more steps before the summit. It's tradition around here to dab a little extra. So, so grab some more of this 91% Pepper X sauce. Oh my God. Don't, don't touch it though until we watch Johnny try it. Uh. <laughs> we all have a choice based on his reaction. It is it is hot one's tradition to put an extra dab on the wing or on the plate, and uh, so if you want some, we're passing it. Oh, oh. oh my! Sorry, God. no one can have any. Keith took all of it. Keith ain't scared. Somebody else rub their wing on Keith's wing. <laughs> rub your wings together, giggity. And Johnny gets one this time. Give him the big one. <laughs> Oh man, my body is ready. Oh. All right, Johnny, let's hey, see it. Hey, Craig, did you try one when you were over there? Oh, did you get? God. Did you give one to Craig? You want to get Craig to do it with me? Did you have one, Craig? Let's see, you have talk one? Craig into doing this one with me. Come on, help me out. Let's go, Johnny. That boy can eat. Shit. All right. Hey, Johnny. Johnny, we're out. There's only nine, actually. <laughs> Don't touch your face. <laughs> so, <laughs> Won't stop for a bit. He's in trouble. Poor Johnny. <laughs> I told you it was funny. <laughs> no, he's not. That's why we made him do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we ready? Let's Enjoy. <laughs> Slancha. Oh, I hate you all. <laughs> well, that's actually tasty. Yeah, whatever. It hurts. 
That does taste good. That's got a lot. It of tastes exactly taste like it. I remember. Could I get a? I bet it's hotter now. Could someone grab me a cup of any beer over there, though, please. Really good. Anyone at the bar, a cup of beer if you don't mind. <laughs> I have some. Thank you. Appreciate you. Mm, I'm good. Thank you. Oh my God. Maybe that'll help. Now I want to thank everyone for coming to the five year anniversary. Thank and you, I see everyone. everyone. Very emotional and crying right now over our anniversary. So I it's appreciate just such good it. Beer. <laughs> Tears for beers, everyone. Tears for beers. Happy five! Thank you. Yeah. I again hate all of you. Last white. Who needs it? It's hot. Next year, a little bit of mine will sponsor it. Next year, I'm not doing this. That's going to be worse for you next year. Johnny, now do the bomb. The what? The bomb. The bomb. <laughs> yeah, do the bomb. <laughs> so, does everyone agree the bomb was the worst? Yeah. Thank By five. Thank you. Worst taste, worst flavor. It's just terrible. Terrible. Yes. I love the, the tingle on my lips that last one gave me. Feels wonderful. Yours is only tingling? It's it's like it's like just giving Satan a little peck. Just just a mwah. Holy hell! <laughs> it doesn't stop. So, on one of Kaylin and I's first dates, we uh, went yes, to. Uh, oh, you want me to say this uh, in the mic? Oh no! I, know oh. You. I can. I know on one of our first dates. I don't care. Chug, 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 chug. We went to Buffalo Wild Wings. And you know, Kaylin can have anything spicy. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know at the time, so I thought it'd be funny to rub mango habanero all over my lips. And then kiss her. And her oh, face ass. swelled up. <laughs> <laughs> she started crying, started sweating, her face swelled up. I'm like, oh, you really are allergic. On the plus side, I don't think I've been able to breathe this clear a long time. <laughs> You're welcome. Good job, everyone. Thank you very much. Mike is open, so come on up and talk. Pardon. <laughs> Woo! That was wonderful. Thank you, everyone, for going through hell with us. And Johnny for uh, joining in. Mm -hmm. Keith, now that you dumped half a bottle of hat, uh, the last dab on a wing, how do you feel? I feel pretty great, Jim. Uh, you know... A little bit of spice, a little bit, a little bit of heat going on, but uh, they're passing know. the Pepto around the crowd. I'm good. Anyone else need a shot of Pepto? They're passing the Pepto. Uh, well, if it will help, yeah. Yeah, you pulling through, Keith? Pulling through, pulling through. Are those tears or is that sweat? Mostly sweat. <laughs> Mostly uh, <no>, sweat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah. I was pouring it out. It does it very much taste like I remember. And I thought we didn't even have the one with Pepper X. I thought we had the uh, version before that, the Apollo. The, oh, we did have the Apollo, you're right, which was the ninth sauce that had Apollo in it. That's right. So we've had the ninth one. Now we've had the tenth one. Well, oddly enough, the Apollo tasted a lot like the uh, the Pepper X current one. <laughs> yeah, I think they're the <coughs> same pepper. <coughs> I just got a piece of pepper in my throat. <laughs> yeah. What does look like if we all made it? My tears. Good point. So I'm not going to point it out, but there's been a few people that did not make it. It wasn't just one or two. There was a few, but I didn't want to say nothing. You're a dick. Just so Johnny would eat them. <laughs> hey, she <PG> rated. <laughs> I don't care. And, and it's quite okay. We spell it out next time. Your middle name's Richard, isn't it? <laughs> but everyone that did it did a great job. Appreciate it. And plus, we got Johnny to eat something spicy, and he does not do spicy at no. all, ever. I can't anymore. <laughs> Last time he had something spicy, Keith was there. Do you remember him getting the hiccups? Oh, yeah. Very entertaining. Oh, yeah. yeah, kudos to everybody for uh, participating oh, in the event. Absolutely. I love this. New Mug Club member, Keith. Now it's time to drink some beers and wash away these tears. Oh, yeah, that rhyme. God. Good job. I'm really good at rhyming. So proud of you. Does that mean we're going to wrap this up until next time? Yep, back to no, our fuckery. Right <laughs> back to fuckery. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, absolutely.
and we're drinking uh, Blue Devil, Mr. which was Keith. available yes. at the uh, Mr. The Keith party. Uh, during his. I, I think once or twice was it twice he came up and talked to us or once? Keith yeah, Keith came up and talked to us at least once. Yeah, yeah. so you'll, you'll hear, it, and the whole time his face is red, and he's I'm. I want to say he was tearing up at one point. Keith's a man. So that, he, that dude yeah, can handle his spice. It, and he did well. It was, uh, there was one guy there. He was, it, it doesn't affect him at all. I don't know if that's the guy you're talking about. Jim. But Jim. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jim. Jim. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Phase, period. He, doesn't <laughs> care, he doesn't care how spicy You know, I, I, yeah. I love that because, like, I'm also a Jim. And, uh, he, well, not you, Jim. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know. His, his, he's my inspiration. Because, he was like, bald, wasn't he? Like, as he's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As, <laughs> he's, as he's gotten older, he said, like, he's like, oh, the spice affects me more and more and more. And But he still, like, is an absolute champion. Like, you know, Jim can just. Eat hot food and just like no, oh, it bite. does not affect him at all. Bite, he's a bite, it's unfair, this, honestly. He's it's, a monster. By yeah. the end of this horrifying experience, I was trying water. Somebody brought me beer. I was trying pretzels. There was chocolate milk offered, and the only thing—I mean, the chocolate milk helped. But yeah. somebody brought me some Pepto Bismol that I poured probably at two doses worth, quote unquote. In. I just drink it out of the bottle. I should have, but that Chug. bottle had been passed around, man. <laughs> yeah, there's not yeah. much that helps spicy stuff. Dude, except that for, uh, was amazing. Waiting. And, that and I'll milk. admit, <laughs> I was, I was fat, waiting. Fat and alcohol. <laughs> yeah. I was waiting for that afterburn after everything. Yeah. Not as bad as I was expecting. Yeah, all right. I, I, I had, uh, I had random strangers. Like, I went for the, uh, the after the we had to bomb, I went over to the like the water dispenser to fill up some ice cold water. And like a bunch of random people at tables were like, don't drink water. Water that doesn't help and i'm like i was like i eat carolina reapers as a hobby <laughs> i'm like don't tell me how to live my life i'm like i need water because like this shit tastes awful i'm like i know yeah. it's not going to solve the spice the spice is fine to me the taste of eating fucking battery oh, acid yeah. nuclear waste that is da bomb so one very unique thing we got into and we're going to pause for a moment here because we're going to hear from mike scalisi because we sat down and talked to him god, he, god bless mike he and, loved the bomb oh mike, my god yeah well and, johnny and, and yeah. Mike both like the bomb, <laughs> and I think both of them are broken humans. But yeah, like, we tried God that. bless I had Mike. Chemical pizza. imbalance. Yeah. God oh, bless I'm Mike sure. Scalise. Y'all have met me. Come on. But we sat down. We talked to Mike for a little bit, and it was a great sh- uh, great interview that we had with him. I love and Mike. And we heard about He's some fantastic human. and awesome things that are going on with the brewery. And <gasps> here's where Spill you're going to with that. Well, Spill the tea. <laughs> <laughs> tea, beans. I mean, we talked about the last few episodes, but that's the yeah, lead. Anyways, in. here's Mike and us on that day. So, yeah, so just that's, talk, that's get close size. to the mic and just talk to him. All right, so now, quick question. Close it. Get like right up in on that. Are like, don't on? don't choke on it. Don't hawk to it. Ah, but. Ah, no hawk to it. <laughs> no, please, no hawk to it. <laughs> I borrowed these microphones. <laughs> so, oh, no, you never know where they've been. Oh, a big thanks to uh, BJ Perry and Amanda Workman, I think is her last name, for uh, loaning on the mics. And, and, uh, and John. Yeah, and John Barron yeah. for the other mic right and over the, there. the speaker. Nice. Well, well, thank yeah, you we, we actually never know when we are on because Johnny oh. will just automatically start. Just he, automatic. I just saw him move his hand. That means he started recording. Yeah, so, oh, did, no, that was like two minutes ago. You got to watch. Oh, we're already recording. <laughs> He's now. a sneaky cunt. So, uh-huh. the, the key word, we're recording. Yes. Yeah, yeah you, he doesn't live. tell us. We're not live. We're recording. No, we're recording. He doesn't tell us. He, he lets he just hits start record and like hopes that we make uh, inappropriate yeah. jokes for him yes. to oh, use nice. as intros. I like yeah, because yeah. I I use that and I'll I'll get to right before you hit the punchline and then the intro. It's great. <laughs> nice, nice, but great. since we are recording, um, go ahead and tell us about yourself and who you are. So well, who is your daddy? Quick, though, and what we, does he do? We talked about beer, hot sauce, and now it's pizza time. The yes. best pizza I think I've oh, ever yeah. had. Agreed. Oh, the pizza. And we're bringing them into Starcraft. The best pizza you guys I've are ever too had. Too kind. Too kind, Daryl. So, I appreciate it. Well, we were going to let him make the official announcement. Today. No, no. Well, I wanted to throw it in there it. before he started. Yeah, oh, no, fine. It's, all, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> You gotta excuse me. My nose is still running from some of that hot sauce. I understand, <laughs> but you breathe so much more free, right? I breathe free, but I'm sweating profusely. Yeah, I understand. That's that's the, one of the reasons that we did this with a podcast is because we like like the show. We hot wanted ones, to make them squirm. You know, like the show on YouTube, hot ones that these sauces are from. Like they, yeah, it's celebrities and things eating those incredibly hot wings, and people get remarkably honest when they want. They just want to answer the question. They want to be so frank they because want they want to close their mouth again or drink <laughs> yeah. milk. Like yeah, yeah, no, I've, I've seen that show. Before. For it. it's, it's, it's awesome. It's pretty funny. So, so cool. we 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 segued with good pizza. So, yep. you are. I am Mike Scalisi. Um, my wife and I, my wife Tammy and I, we both own 
Scalise's Wood Fired Pizza, and we are um, we've been doing this for about seven years. We are our, so we're in our seventh year of this, and uh, um, so anyway, we got our start. If you want to know. Yes, uh, please so tell we got us. Our, we oh, got we our do? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we do. Everyone but Johnny gets an origin story here. So oh, let's okay. hear yours. Maybe we'll uh, get to so mine. I guess back in um, about 2014, um, we used. I had a. We were selling wine racks. I designed these wine racks a long time ago. They were hanging. They hang from your ceiling to support the glasses, the bottles, everything. They were kind of neat. And we were set up at a craft show at Freedom Hill and selling these wine racks. Long and short of it. I saw these guys that had a setup similar to ours selling wood fired pizzas and they were they were just knocking it off the wall, man. They were they were just kicking it. Nice. So thought it was a great idea and because of timing it was just too soon to really get involved in a business. So my wife and I, she let me build a uh, wood fired oven in our backyard. Nice. So I, I, I too actually, dream of that as well. So, yeah, and yeah. it's a lot of work but it, but I mean, you know, then you know, it pays off. So I guess with a lot of influence from family, friends, and several pizza parties, you know, we we ended up trying, you know, pursuing uh, starting a small business. And I guess what we thought would be maybe, it was going to be a seasonal uh, type business. And I mm-hmm. guess we thought what would be one or two events per month during during the summertime turned out to be, you know, two two or three events every weekend during the summertime. Ah. I, I think that's a that's nice. a testament to the quality product that you're oh, delivering. Yeah. Honestly, like, oh, thank you. I gotta say the the Milan. Uh, oh my God! Yeah. I mean, for those not in the know, I mean, you can look up Scazzaro's Pizza. Isn't we that will, supposed we will to be a provide Star links, exclusive right? Exclusive, from what I heard, or is that like an on the normal wait, menu? Wait, if you show up without the Milan, are you allowed to be here? Well, there <laughs> there is an unwritten rule. Now, now the Milan is not the Star Starcraft exclusive. We do ah, have the Starcraft true. exclusive that we that we just kind of introduced this weekend. Um, but the Milan, something that my wife and I came up with when we first started started this business, and we are not allowed to actually have the the Milan with without us being here. Oh, nice. Yeah, so, it's for for those not in the know. It's uh, because it is it's you know the the wood fire pizza with roasted like whole roasted garlic cloves, slices of tomato, artichoke hearts, spinach. Yep, and the the garlic oil. Yeah, we put a little we we put garlic infused olive oil on the end of it. Oh my god, that's why it's, that's so. Yeah, we good. finish it with the garlic infused olive oil. You know, and oh. it's it's the type of pizza that soaks through the box in the best way possible. Like yes. you can't even imagine that oil is so good. And I I eat a whole one every oh, time. Really? You, every time you guys are here, I get a Milan and I eat the whole damn thing. That's impressive. Nobody, that's nobody impressive. gets any more than me. I just nobody wanna, gets that. I just yeah. want to know: Can I order like a side dish of the garlic cloves with like a fork or spoon? You can. We can. Seriously, <laughs> I'll even, I'll even warm it but up. But they're out, so sorry, buddy. Damn no, it. we're not. We're never out. No, all their pizza is fantastic. We only tell you that, Daryl, that we're out. <laughs> <laughs> and as as everyone already knows, we do this at Starcraft Brewery, and when yeah. there are events and Casale's Pizza is here, my wife. My wife is always like, "Do we have to go to the brewery?" Because <laughs> no, you know she knows she knows everyone here like I do, but she doesn't drink. But if you guys are here, she even she was like, "Are we going up there Saturday to get pizza for lunch?" And I'm like, "Well, I was gonna do yard work, which is she's always harping on me. Cut the lawn, do the yard work." It's like, "Oh well, I guess I'll put off yard work so you can get pizza. That's fine." Oh, that's my favorite kind of customer right there. Favorite, your favorite. Nice. She won't miss it. No, nope. yeah, right, she loves right. your pretzels too. Your pretzels are also pretzels fantastic. Are a wood yeah, fire pretzel, good. like that's incredible. Yes. Yeah, that was something we kind of uh, thought would be a great idea when we were kicking off the business. We thought, well, sure, why not? I mean, you know, you could make a pretzel and you know reheat it or it doesn't take much to do so you throw it in the oven for a couple minutes and usually about a minute actually and it's in and out yeah your pretzel was out in butter in, yeah johnny oh, got yeah. it was out like that no i only yeah. have one words i have a minor major addiction to soft pretzels especially with cheese you got to find a way to stuff the cheese in it and <laughs> nah, what? Mess nah. It oh, so yeah. stuff the cheese inside nah. oh i will uh, mess that well now oh. you're destroying the bavarian pretzel style no, I'm improving. That's not with cheese. I mean, you dip it, but it's not inside it. But no, just... I want cheese inside and on the outside. I want I want all cheese. That just in so case, cheesy. Just you know what? Let's get, get a get bowl of cheese and we'll put like pretzel croutons on top. So you're, you're like talking like a spe- a cheese stuffed pretzel. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do, do that. Do we that. might have to do that and call it the Johnny Orange. I'm okay oh with my that. God. <laughs> Dude, I'm be famous. That just blew up. Oh, before before we get too distracted, not, not though, the one um, you're thinking like, though. 
do you have social medias? Like, we want to make oh, sure, yeah, plug yeah. your social medias, make sure, you know, spell the name, whatever it needs to be, anywhere where people can find where you're going to be and what you're going to be doing. Sure, okay. We have a website. Mm-hmm. It's Scalise's Wood Fired Pizza.com. It's spelled S C A L I C I S. I'm reading his hat while he's spelling this. And he's like, <laughs> yep, he spelled it right. Com. <laughs> I would hope so. I had so. to make sure. I had to make sure. And then we're also on Facebook, Scalise's Wood Fired mm-hmm. Pizza. But if you go to the website or the Facebook, there's a QR code that takes you to either right. one. Good. Oh, do you have a GPS plug in so we can see where the food truck is at all times? Not oh, yet, wow. but that's a great wow. idea. I didn't even <laughs> think about that one. Yeah. Johnny coming up with these ideas. I know. I, 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 yeah, with yeah, that, I'm a John John newer. Okay. Johnny's our editor. spending our money. <laughs> so I would like I would like that if he could put some links in if you can. But yeah. if not, I want to make sure that oh, yeah. everyone knows where to find you because Yeah, like, no, I appreciate that. Oh, the pizza's fantastic. That. Oh my god, yeah. So I, I I can't get enough of it. I had pizza yesterday and today for yeah. dinner. So and, like, uh, and I'll probably take one home I tonight just because I have yeah, to. Yeah, come on back. We'll hook you up. I did yesterday, <laughs> the day before, and today, oh, well, and probably this that. afternoon. Uh, so we what really kind of uh, plans for expansion you guys got? You're going to go nationwide here? Well, it, all it's, around funny, the world? it's funny you, you <laughs> ask that. Um, before we go nationwide and around the world... We do have a partnership in the works right now with uh, StarCraft Brewery. Yeah. Oh, who are and, they? Uh, well, you know, <laughs> funny you ask. As he ignores me. Yeah. He's actually asshole. sitting right oh, here. Oh, yeah, that's why I can say that now. <laughs> so um, StarCraft, the Star family, has been uh, building a kitchen and a dining area. going to be better off known as the Speakeasy. I like it. To the I back like of it. their building. And... Um, we partnered up with them, and we're actually going to be moving into the kitchen. Um, awesome. We don't know the exact date. It's all tentative that was my right next now. Question. I want to know when I can come and get it. <laughs> probably three to four months, I guess roughly. about four months, yeah. yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, we but, actually, a couple, couple podcasts ago, we talked about, uh, well, it'll probably be coming out about now, but uh, Mark, when he was building the uh, the pizza oven uh, back yeah, there, getting sure. the pizza oven oh, ready and you know, doing up. the, okay, yeah. doing the welding and putting it together. So yeah. so those those little bits and pieces are starting to roll together. So oh, the not, even, and not the... even the best pizza I think I've ever had in my life, but one of the best families to hang out with and talk oh, to yeah. and discuss. Oh, and, and I added him on awesome. Facebook Great. yesterday. That night he accepted. I will, oh, yeah. I don't have yeah. Facebook, yeah. so yeah. I also yeah. don't social media. So yeah. that's a, that's well, I guess I, I shouldn't say I don't social media because I'm doing a you. podcast. I was gonna say yeah. we're yeah. sitting here doing social media. <laughs> well, I don't listen to it, so I mean, you know, it's so different. you guys gonna be doing dine in, carry out, or just four patrons of Starcraft with that? Dine in, carry out. At first, Excellent. we'll probably start a, start with both. Um, we're probably. Uh, we don't know. We, we, don't, we don't just give don't too know. many secrets yeah, away. We don't want to give we have pizza away. coming. You just know there's going to be pizza. Pizza and pizza. You're still doing we're pizza. dabbling. In a, we're, we're trying to build a menu right now to expand a little bit. You need calzones and uh, cheese stuffed pretzels. Actually, that those might in the be there. That might be there. Yeah, he's got, you got to get some good He's got some now. amazing ideas Garg that we don't want to talk about cheese yet. bread. Oh, we'll, we'll talk yeah, I can't, off I can't let you know all the secrets yet because... Well, we want to, you know, surprise you when we get into the wow fact. Yeah, the wow fact. Do you yeah. and your wife have a, a background in food or just like a natural love for cooking? Or what? where did it, where did it kind of come from? Honestly, we have no background in food. I may have worked in a restaurant or two as a teenager. Right. Um, it I started with liking pizza-flavored Hot Pockets. Yeah, it, it, it really. <laughs> we, we, we really have a desire to, to cook and to serve, and that is a desire. I have another job outside of this that I'm still doing. And, nice. And... Um, and which we thank so, you for your what you do. And absolutely. I don't know if you want to say oh, what you do, but I, appreciate I, it. I am. I'm a, I, I, I've been a firefighter for 31 years. Awesome. Thank you. So I'm, I've actually uh, graduated to captain. So, oh, oh, congratulations. Wow. Okay. Now, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, so. So Captain Pizza is the retirement plan. Yeah. Yeah. My nickname like on it. the trailer is called the Capo, which is Captain, <laughs> captain in Italian. Or, or that's the, awesome. The Mafia always called the uh, the captains the Capo. Yep. Nice. So that's my that's my nickname on the trailer. Uh, so I like Daryl knows. Well, it's it's pretty easy though. You'd have to go up in levels, you know. Oh, Capo is pretty high though. Gampo. I was going to say Capo. that. Uh, it's a, not, no Gampo then. Capo. Yeah, Capo. yeah, yeah no. Yeah, the Capo. Hi, that's pretty high up. The yeah, yeah, it's pretty high up. It's like like right right below the boss. Oh, the, the, the description of that makes a few uh, answers a few questions about an uncle of mine. Yeah. <laughs> Why they called him that. Uncle Capo? Uncle, uncle Capo. <laughs> yeah. So, and the, and the Capo is usually below the boss, which is my wife. 
Ah. She's the boss. Uh, so she's she the godfather. Knows. So happily married then. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Happy <laughs> wife, happy life. You're a smart yes, man. Sir. This yes, is sir. recorded. I am a smart man. I know this is being recorded. <laughs> Hopefully she'll listen to it. And we'll, hear we'll put it on I'll, repeat for you. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'm on this podcast, and my wife has been here once, and she doesn't listen to it. I mean... Probably because I don't, but my I wife? do. I, I've listened to a couple. Well, but yeah, she's my, missing um, out. I agree. I agree. She was on what episode we had. It was so funny. Like uh, oh, she was from Eric, a distance. Eric, yeah. was, uh, uh, his his brother Aaron was on, and like we called him Assistant Aaron, and like we're calling <laughs> to him, it. Assistant Aaron, bring us food. And at the exact moment, my wife texts me. He's <laughs> like, Hey, my plans got canceled. Do you want me to bring you guys food? Like, yeah. <laughs> and she shows really? up with food. Yeah. And so I was listening to the episode where she's in the background, and uh, and I'm like, Do you want to join? She's like, No. She doesn't like beer or spicy doesn't food. Doesn't want nothing to do. We tried, we That's tried. why she's not here today. She yeah. would hate this. <laughs> well, we'll have to get her on board. We'll have to bring her on board. I agree with you. You know, hey. So hey, I've farmed out the idea of an episode where we get all the wives on, and they're like as them, sure. and we'll re-record the intro with them doing it. But I have no one to be on my side. Yeah, well, so it's uh, going to be me and them. We're all on your side, brother. <laughs> It'd have to be a cider episode. I, my wife loves well, cider. We'll, we'll go to 8 Mile and get you a girl. You're good. We'll <laughs> I'm find good, someone for thanks. you. I'm good, thanks. 8 Mile? Eight. I was thinking more like 7 I'm, and Grash it. Well, yes. that's cheaper. Oh I want to get a little higher Ooh. end for him. One of the most violent neighborhoods in the country. That's where I grew up. Yeah. I'm willing no to shit. spend 15 bucks. and Whittier. <laughs> Then you're a tougher breed I don't know than how most. To answer this. <laughs> East side, baby. <laughs> East side. We'll, well, we'll have Daryl call up Trick Trick for you. I just don't like that. No, I like that. East side. <laughs> Yep. Well, anyways, uh, uh, you joined the event. I mean, we're glad to have you out here. Is what? Uh, how many years in a row have you done it here for this event now? Uh, or well, all five. They've been. Uh, this is their fifth year anniversary. We've been here five years. Awesome. Yeah, all very five cool. Years, so and it's we've been known you that since long. Day one. We have known you that long. Wow. I, very I cool. What, very I cool. I gotta tell you guys. You're not yeah. sick of us, um, No, the yeah, Star family. Not yet. I listen here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make you cry right now. The Star family, man. We love these guys. I mean, the, the, well, you're definitely they, hearing that cart getting dragged through the yeah. uh, parking lot right That's now. That's all right. Speaking of the Star family, Daryl's daughter is dragging a cart full of so, something so across the little parking lot. It's probably a little late Looks in the like episode nice to announce this, but if, if nobody's realized this by now, uh, most of this episode is actually brought to you by recording in the parking lot at the fifth year anniversary party. We are. We are. Uh, hence a lot all going the on right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, but we're glad because that brought you. They brought amazing. Go back clothes. to your speech because it, yes, we, we yes. just we interrupted you, and I oh, want okay. I want to hear I want to see Daryl cry if that's going to happen. Oh, I'd watch that. Man, no, no. That, <laughs> I cried daily, so it's okay. <laughs> I'm going to give him some of this hot sauce if he Probably doesn't cry. cry. <laughs> no, but, but the Star Family, we that can't one say sucks, enough about dude. them. Not I mean, the Star Family; they're cool. The sauce. Daryl and Daryl and Philip and Stacy, Tanya. Nikki, they're 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 just all such a great family. And, oh my god! We, yeah. we embrace them. We, we we are so excited to be able to get in here and be be a partner with them. And this has actually been something that's been in the works for a couple of years now, probably about four years. Oh wow! Cool. We, on um, and off, yeah. On and off, and, forth. and and um, fortunately, in the last year. We were able to kind of solidify it and get awesome. this kind of, you know, the ball rolling yep. on this. But we can't be happier. We we're excited. We can't wait. You know, it's a new chapter in our our lives with the business, and we're just thrilled. It, it couldn't be a better definition a definition of the American dream. Yeah, it you really know, is. You, you followed your passion, and you know, you were allowed to express it and build a business out of it, That's and awesome. do exactly what you wanted to do. Not what you had to do, you know. All too often, we spend time like we go and we work our jobs. We do what we have to do, but it's it's always so refreshing to see someone do something that they want to do and succeed at it. Yeah, yeah. and, and especially at such a level. And enjoy it is it great that. when they do something that they love. That's yeah. what we yes. love about it because yeah. we That's make why beer it tastes and good. we love making beer and their pizza, exactly. family style, same concept. And I love drinking mentality. beer and eating pizza. It's a perfect great. match. <laughs> and I like pizza and I love drinking beer. Absolutely. You got to be un-American as fuck if you don't like eating pizza and drinking beer. I, it's like a you know a match <laughs> made in heaven, a marriage. Yeah. I was just wondering, have you made a hot dog pizza? I think Philip keeps talking. Philip about Philip keeps this. talking what? about a hot dog Brother pizza, Phil. like the one hot With dog a, in the crust. Only because he said all American. I thought Fourth of July, the hot dog butthole, oh. and then pizza. And... So there's this particular I... ingredient from a pig you need for that. If don't... you listen to the Fourth of July episode, you'll hear the description. No, don't. But anyway, <laughs> hot dog pizza. Don't listen to him. Hot dog pizza. All right. So is that Phillip something you want to? Philip? No, I Phillip hate no. me <laughs> about it for years. And I terrible. think it sounds terrible. I, There's I only two foods in this world that. I won't eat. Hot dogs and creamed corn. Oh, ugh. Ugh. 
Both of those, well, not together. <laughs> but like, I, wouldn't eat them, I wouldn't eat them together. I don't no. know if I'd eat them. I, I like hot dogs, I guess, but. If they're grilled, they're okay. You I know, don't touch them otherwise. I got to tell you, there's hot dogs, and then there's a good hot dog. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's. We're like, kind of spoiled in Michigan. We are We, we do have better hot we dogs. We got Kogels. Everywhere. We have oh, the best. Kogels yep. Whenever, Kogels, whenever Kogels, people from out of state Kogels, come yeah, here and they're Kogels, like, oh, a hot dog, and then it's like, no, yeah. it's like, yeah. these are all beef hot dogs. They're yeah. like, you know, natural skin. They got the snap. That's like, what I was going to ask you. What is Natural skin or skinless? I mean, Oh, natural skin 100%. Because I'll eat a kielbasa or like, you know, a brat or anything like that. Yeah, but but if you call it a hot dog, it's a mental thing. I think I've told the story before, but like, I basically. So as, as a kid, like ate hot dogs and threw up in a very awkward situation, <laughs> and ever since then, I'm like, I don't want hot dogs. But I'll I eat, understand. I'll eat the weirdest shit you can bring me. I've had goat testicle, I've had beef tongue, you know, you name it, I'll eat it. But you give me a hot dog, I'm like, nah, no thanks. Yeah, but a so hot please, dog is all it. of that. So though. please don't make a hot dog pizza. <laughs> no, no, I gotta I, agree you know, with that. And, and to be honest with you, I never really knew how to tell Philip. No, I haven't told him. No, I kept telling. Him. Oh, he's gonna yeah, know now. Maybe. I know so, he'll know now. Well, Phillip, so it, it Phillip's breaks a rules, but you, you make eye contact and you go, "No, fuck you, <laughs> no." All right, so <laughs> no. So let's do this. Hot dog pizza's out, but you did have a new pizza. Ooh, we do have a new Stella. pizza. Ooh, that I mean, thing looks great. What Stella? Translated star. in Italian as star for the Superstar. star family. Oh. So, well, so would yeah, you we, look at that? We created a new pizza. And by we, I mean, I got a big shout out to my wife, Tammy. So this so is her she idea. Made, so she, she actually, made it. It's her she's, creation. She's got good taste. And so let's see if we it, get her on. We'll hear from her. No, no she, she won't. She turned we tried. down. We tried. He, Mike tried. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we were trying. She showed up here a second ago. Nice. And... Uh, <laughs> She she walked away after Just give that. Give Daryl the finger. Right, right there. No, no, There's no way Daryl's getting that selfie. No, but the the Stella, I gotta tell you, it's the first week we've had it. It's been it's been phenomenal. Starts out with a barbecue sauce, real light barbecue sauce on the crust. Do you make it? No, we don't make the barbecue. It's actually, oh, just wait though. It's actually sweet baby rays. Oh, and that's we my will, wife's favorite. We will we will Lost make it eventually, Lost but so then it's got um, smoked pork burnt ends. It's a who smoked Bringing me that? back a little bit. I did. So how long did that one take? Eight hours. Eight hours. So we got eight hours invested into the burnt ends, and then bacon, pineapple, jalapenos. And we finish it with a maple sriracha glaze. Now, I did it's try got, that. It's that got is sweet. Phenomenal. It's got heat. It's got salty. I, and I, smoke. I believe. I believe the Gordon Ramsay philosophy: the salty, spicy, sweet, savory. Oh yeah. I'm out four, on the barbecue it's good. sauce. So you lost me that. I no, hate I, sweet you try it. Rays. You're wrong. I'll we, try it. I will wrong. try. We can modify anything Stubbs. for any palate. Stubbs is a good one. Here's the worst part, though. They have a pizza called the Milan. Yeah, and we I talked said, about the Milan. I said I, I would like never, Milan. ever order another pizza other than the Milan from this guy. It's so good. I go up there, and he has a Stella named Star. Like, <laughs> uh, I, had to, I had to <laughs> fight myself. Screw this up. I had to fight myself for my first pizza. I had to fight, do I want the Stella or do I want the Milan? I'm like, the, i got to start with the Milan, and then I'll get a Stella next. If you've never had a pizza called the Milan from Scalise's Woodfire Pizza, you are missing out you've of never had the best we, pizza we, in your life. We appreciate it, guys. You are all too kind. This is uh, Fat Man approved. It's phenomenal. You know, everyone everyone <laughs> says they love garlic. Everyone oh, yeah. likes garlic. But when you say whole cloves of garlic, people are like, oh, roast it. Oh. But no, there's like, like uh, it's garlic, uh, seven confit. or eight whole cloves yeah. of garlic, maybe more. And yeah. every bite of it is so good. I get so Thank sad you. when a clove falls on the ground. I was that close to picking it up <laughs> yesterday. I'm not going to lie. Five well, I think rule. I still owe, owe you a cup of garlic. I'm okay with that. You got it. I'm, I'm bringing it. I'm bringing should, it right back. Probably should. Probably should, he probably should have ordered that before he ate that last hot wing because Johnny didn't probably do the hot wing help. challenge like the rest of us did. We all no, started no. with the less spice and worked our way up, which makes it easier. I went the right deal the was end. that if no one quit, Johnny had to eat the last one, and he did. Oh, good, yeah, good man. man. So he could have had some like nice garlic oil to wash down all that heat. Even though oh, somebody yeah. lied to me, and uh, like four people dropped out I before did. it got to it. I told them all to shut up and sit down. Yeah, well, just I was keep not taking the wing. I was actually <laughs> going to cool. get involved in the hot wing contest, and, and to be honest, we were kind of busy, and I yeah. missed the time. But next time, but I, nice. I did try the hot. The hottest sauce, right? What was that? The oh yeah, the you project. Tried, X he tried the bomb, and, yeah. then the and he tried the project. Yeah, X. he said he didn't mind the bomb. No, I think I it said, actually it had some smells good. I I might maybe try a little touch. Of, ah shit! Listen, guys, here's a pretzel. Right here. Johnny's trying it right now, right on his finger. Johnny said he'd try it. We're giving him some. 
You know what, Johnny? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to pour some in the cap right here. Well, I'll put it on pizza. And, and oh, you got pizza? Some on pizza. Oh, yeah, okay. put it on the you pizza. Know, I hate the smell of that I'm one. You guys, it's got, it's got like a garlicky and a smoky taste. Once you get past it's, the heat, it's, it's a smoke it's artificial flavor. taste to me. Like, Let's see, Johnny. What do you got going fake. on there? I'm watching to make sure he puts at least a good drop on his pizza. You only need about a drop or two of that anyway. but Oh, yeah. It's going to ruin your day. It's going to yeah, wake you up. My day's already ruined. Oh, yeah, that's enough. Okay, oh, wow. two drops. Oh, three oh, drops. Three, three drops. Not, not just three drops. Three Chew that mammoth good. drops. Oh, don't Johnny, just, don't just I thought you swallow. were smart. Not, I never claim to be else. smart. For the content, Daryl. <laughs> For the content. <laughs> I might not be a smart man, but uh, yeah, I know yeah. about the Johnny content. Johnny just did the sign of the cross. We'll see what happens here. <laughs> he can't see his eyes. He's got sunglasses on. The Lord can't save you from this one. This is all This is all the devil's work. God bless you, brother. <laughs> See? This isn't that bad. <laughs> As he eats like it with a, a pizza. Yeah, he's got it on pizza. We had it on wings. All right, all right. I did Johnny's Johnny's I hoeing us. Hey, we discussed with um with Bob. Bread doesn't do much. There's a little heat to it. I'm not gonna lie about that. No, there's heat to it, but it's it's, it's actually pretty good. I'm not gonna got, lie. I like maybe it. a pizza tastes better. Everything maybe tastes better on pizza. Wrong. That's my no, pizza. Everything do you, better do you want it. to try some to bomb <laughs> on hot pizza? Dogs. That was the last not half, sorry. Do you want some? That's my pizza. You want more? No. There's no more. You sure? No, you guys good. want me to throw a pizza together with something hot? With the bomb? No, yeah. I'm not doing it anymore. No. Oh, no you're done. There is, done. There's so many good hot Ooh. sauces on here, though, that you could do so much more with. The you bomb, want to try one? The bomb's just hot. He's, 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 he's you want some of the bomb, Gary? I got a bunch of these already. I just He just ate some on a pizza, and he just said he liked it. I did. He's he's dumb. I don't like the heat. Yeah. yeah. Well, Mike Mike said it was good As too. He's crying and gagging. <laughs> he's spit, not buddy, hiccuping. Spit. Try the bomb and try the extreme. Very good. Very good. Yeah, I mean that's. A, a bitch. I, I, the I I think Daryl has some more too. If we if we wasn't, want spicy if I'm not pizzas, mistaken, there is a few there, more. Wasn't there a waiver you had to sign to be in part of this yeah. contest? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that kind of made me a little nervous. But your wife I, signed it for you. Oh, of course she did. <laughs> Just like she signed the life insurance policy. Say, is that why the right life before. insurance policy number is right next to yep. the signature? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully, you know, in your demise. It uh, at least is lucrative, right? You know. Oh yeah. I, mean, you know, <laughs> I have to take these We have a clause. If I die while I'm working, it's like double. Johnny is it's crying amazing. like yeah. a baby. I will eat that one. <laughs> but, as long no, as I'm on the um, clock. Well, there might be hiccups. Right, and then you're like, I'm sorry. It grows on you. It's yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's very bad. And it burns for a while. And for some yeah, reason, no your shit. eyes always burn. Yeah. Oh, there His he goes. His eyes oh, are yep. starting to and water. He Don't said, drink water. <laughs> it's gonna make it worse. Is that beer? Well, the, hey, Gary, the water gives you that, that momentary you reprieve because it's cold, yeah. and then immediately when the cold is gone, it's right back at you because it just oh, yeah. spreads the oils around. Oh, it does. It does. Nope. You, and, need, you need fats and alcohol. Alcohol helps everything. Yep. Well, I, I, I got one right here. It's, <laughs> here, here. Slancha. Slancha. Out of the orange. Or whatever. Sure. I think Johnny is now dying. No, not yet. Well, it's not as bad as the last one. He's not hiccuping. I'm actually kind of surprised. No, he handled that got pretty under well. My tongue. You're starting oh. to develop a sunburn. Oh yeah, <laughs> on the inside. Yeah, I get I get raccoon eyes. It's, very it's radiant. Ah, it's radiant out of you. Radiating out of you. I mean, whatever. I don't know. No, it was it was good to finally do this because uh, Daryl and I like you know I oh, like to bring up whatever shit. hot things I've gotten because I know Daryl will eat them. I know if I've got a new hot sauce, Daryl has to try it. So the hotter you are, the more I eat. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. We don't have to be PG wow. anymore. No, no, this, this is all going to get cut in with the other one. Wow. Why we just do two episodes? I'm glad, uh, I'm glad I don't have to get any closer to oh, this microphone. Oh, well, there goes the family. This time. is why we can't have nice things. But anybody notice how good the windscreens are working right now? <laughs> yeah, if you're wondering, the wind just picked up and knocked down a big banner. You're, you're a natural. You're meant for this. Yeah. Oh, I don't yeah. know about that. <laughs> yeah, you're already, you're already fitting right he in. Sits the there, react yeah. to what happened. Well, that just happened, but hey, what's going on? Thank you so much. Well, when when we show up on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. and you're here cooking, uh, getting you know dough ready and everything for pizza, like we're going to need breakfast pizzas oh, at man. 10 a.m. when we're drinking beer. Oh, my God. And then we have give you beer. Pizza? We've done them. We've done them. We, we Can you done, do one today? We don't have the ingredients for one today, but we've done uh, a couple. One, I'll tell you what, guys. We did one on uh, a St. Patrick's Day Ooh. several years ago. Everyone starts drinking early on St. Patty's Day. That yes, makes sense. Yes, it had, it had egg, 
uh, corned beef hash. Oh. It was it was actually pretty did good. I, I love corned beef. Did I ever tell the story about my buddy's poor dog when we got drunk and made uh, corned beef and Swiss sandwiches? How does a dog have anything to do with corned beef and Swiss? So my buddy did you and make I corned beef dog. No, no. I kind of feel like so we got dog. lit on St. Patrick's Day. I feel like a hot dog involved in this somewhere. <laughs> no, no, it no, all no comes back to hot dogs. No, no peanut, peanut butter. Hot dogs. <laughs> so, no peanut butter. No peanut butter. So we were lit. We were drinking, <laughs> and uh, he had corned beef, Swiss cheese, olive oil, and bread. So very drunk, we got the idea we're gonna make corned beef and Swiss sandwiches. So we diced up all the sliced beef that he had for sandwiches, and we fried that up a little olive oil. Melted the Swiss on it. We didn't have anything to brush the olive oil, so we basically took a plate with olive oil, dipped the bread in it, threw it in the oven, flipped it over. This was drenched, dripping olive oil. Oh, wow. Mm, we made the sandwiches. Soggy bread. We went from drunk as hell to sober very fast to shitting our brains out within a span of about 15 minutes <laughs> because there's just so much oil. And my buddy... Huh. Did not want to take these sandwiches to work. You can imagine that. Can't imagine I don't know. Why. That seems like a bad segue. Oh, wait for it. So he gave it all to the dog. <laughs> and then he got up and he went to work and he forgot huh. to put the dog outside. Remember I said it took about 15 minutes to hit our guts? Ugh. That poor furry little bastard was stuck in the house all day. Shit, his brain's out. You know, since my buddy came home, he goes, that dog bolted out the house when he... <laughs> Opened it. It smelled so bad for two days, and oh, he, he spent an hour and a half days. cleaning it up. He yeah. felt so. We still feel bad. I, I want to hear more about your breakfast pizzas. And before we go into that, I want to uh, put in an editor's note for Johnny to uh, edit this and change the order. Um, cut out what you said and put it somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can hear about Scasali's delicious breakfast Scalise's. pizza. N- Good Scalise's. job. Um, <laughs> listen, man. Another edit. I'm a, I'm we'll ten see hot how it wings. Sounds. No, you can you Fair can enough. leave my fuck up in there. Leave my because I always mispronounce well, on, the name. Know I I'm so it's, bad. It's totally cool. But I, I'm a couple of beers and a couple of hot wings deep. And uh, yes, please move the dog shit <laughs> so we can hear about breakfast pizza. Well, I want to hear about the corned beef hash. Insert dog shit here. Hang on. (laughs) I'll give you one of these. I'm not, there you go. I'm not sinking clips Wait, to I video. can't believe you just did breakfast that on a uh, podcast. Yeah. That was rude, breakfast dude. There are children pizza. around here. Yeah, yeah we've done pizza. some breakfast. Yeah, with you, corn you walked away hash. for a minute. Mm. I missed this. But yeah. we, did a, we did a breakfast pizza years ago when we first got started out. It was on St. Patrick's Day, and it involved egg, corned beef, hash, corned beef hash actually, and a, like a Russian Thousand Island type dressing oh, for the base. I'm it was in. actually very good. We haven't My done it in a long time because we haven't done a morning event like that or a St. Patrick's Day event. We don't do them too often, but I imagine we're going to be doing them pretty soon. Excellent. I think so. Excellent. I think that's great. Because uh, what I remember about like when I used to drink, drink, you know, when you're 19, 21 years old. 54. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when when you're, you're getting really up. that young? I am that young. When you You're start older. when you start drinking at seven in the morning. Yeah. St. Patty's Day was one of those days like uh whenever I'd go to, you know, downtown Detroit for my job, people start going to old Shillelagh at seven in the morning. Oh yeah. And before that I remember going to, you know, like uh Patio Flaherty's or different places and drinking at seven in the morning. That pizza sounds like it would be a much yes. better solution to the hey, let's drink beer at seven in the morning. That's a good base so, to start with. Well you go. Well, while he does that, I have a question for you. You're gonna have food. You have amazing beer. Can I rent a room out upstairs? Oh, yeah. When wow. Starcraft Hotel opening up? He hesitated. That means there's there's something. I'm not gonna there. say how much per minute, but you know. Oh, it's minute. per minute. Wow. Gosh. So it's a motel. <laughs> a motel, motel. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you. Hey, well, I'm not looking for that no. kind of service. <laughs> there's a couple no. of uh, rest stops nearby. You can find some lot lizards to go well, stay you know, there. It's gonna be a speakeasy. Yes. Might as well call it a brothel as well. Exactly. I mean, Ouch. both both those things kind of went hand in hand, right? You well, know, they, they actually they legally, did. yeah, exactly. Legally, I'm going to say no. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> terrible idea. We will never ever admit to that. Yeah. Listen, pro, pro, <laughs> prohibition made alcohol consumption rise. Oh yeah. Prohibition of you know prostitution and things like that 
made the desire for it even greater. People love doing things they're told not to. They just love breaking the law. Exactly. I mean, you know? Why I love laws? not getting text messages from broken. girls. Exactly. <laughs> right. Just saying. Otherwise, you know, I, I kind of feel like they're not laws. They're That's not going to help me. Yeah, they no, are. Kind of like so. the speed limit. Yeah, right. Yeah. Who, who drives the speed limit? You know, the left lane is for crime, and I'm Everybody here Everybody drives exactly. the speed limit when you're driving by a police officer. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. When that I'd... was my favorite thing. So the job I used to work at, we worked on police cars. And I understand their pain because whenever somebody sees a cop car pull out, brake lights slow right down to about two miles under the speed limit. Right, right. And I'm sitting there driving this car back to, to work on it at the facility I worked at. It's like, just, what the hell? Get off the road if you're going to drive like that. Come on, I got shit to do. Yeah. And then realizing, well, I'm in a cop car. I guess that makes sense. No, that makes sense. They have so much power. I, dri- I drive to. Uh, it's funny how that is, right? Uh huh. Well, they should. You know, oh, yeah. they they have they have a job to do. Yeah, right? they do. Oh, yeah. They do. You know, we worked on an undercover car, and I I'll I'll, I'll leave all the details out except that the hence officers, the term undercover. <laughs> well, I'm not saying what the car was or where it was, but the officer's complaint was that in speeds in excess of 130 miles an hour, vehicle has a slight shimmy. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, I guess it would. Yeah, yeah, the, the tech had to drive it. He didn't want to do it. <laughs> so does our food trailer, a little yeah. shimmy at yeah, about 125, yeah, yeah. 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 126. We had to, we it had probably to does that at 125 kilometers per hour. <laughs> yeah, it probably does. It, probably, it actually does. Because that's to, about, what, about 80, 85, 120? Like, like 100 is like 65? We had to notify yeah. all the uh, police, For all our policing Canadian friends. zones around us that, hey, this is this vehicle. We are testing this. It's an undercover car. Do not pull this over. <laughs> So he basically had a license to do whatever the hell he wanted on those test drives. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. awesome. I volunteered to do it, but no, not enough experience. <laughs> <laughs> I funny, wouldn't, I wouldn't trust you. Yeah, I wouldn't trust you behind the wheel I'm of that car. I'm a good driver. Yeah, okay. I've been in one accident. Ev- everyone says they're a good yeah, driver. Yeah, you're still here they... to talk about it. You yeah. must yeah, be a good exactly. driver. exactly. Everyone says they're a good driver till they hit beyond 100 miles an hour. Like, I, I remember the first time I, I was, I drove more than 100 miles an hour in a car, and I thought, you know what? I heard that seats are really This is not for me. <laughs> now, to be fair, to be fair, it was like a like a two thousand and one like uh, uh, Dodge Dart or some shit. It was not meant to go a hundred miles an hour no, down a no, country you're lucky you're road. Alive. You know. Yeah, you are. Are you familiar with Allenton Tavern? No. Uh, K-Pack Road. Are you familiar with that? I've heard of it. I've not. So I've never. Do been you know there. where K-Pack Road is? I do. So basically, think K-Pack Road and I-69. About I was driving down Kilgore and Avoca. Oh yeah, so. and about Allenton, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So I, I'm not. Well, not disclose who on the air for nefariously illegal reasons. Uh, we made it from there to Chaps Richmond's parking lot over here in 11 minutes one night. We hit 147 on the back roads. Oh my God. Uh, about 77 pulling through Memphis. I didn't say this is a smart or a good idea or safe. By so you went, you went by faster than they even noticed you. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we were in a Charger, so they might have thought we were oh, undercover. Car. I don't know. Yeah, they, they didn't even realize you weren't an, an officer. <laughs> you know, no, so no. When, when we talked to you about this, we talked about his beer brewing and bullshit. You can see how quickly bullshit oh, yeah. starts. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I've been drinking a beer. In fact, it's almost gone. Bummer. I'm yeah. getting there. Imagine, imagine doing these three in a row, and they beer just keeps filling up your glass. Like, I might do this. And they're all strong often. beers. I've, I've we would done we a record every other Sunday. We would yeah. love to yeah. have you back Absolutely. again, and especially if you show up with breakfast pizza, because we start or at beer. 10 a.m. most Sundays when oh, we record. Beer and breakfast. Pizza. <laughs> I I should have gone with that. Yeah, we'll bring the beer. You bring the food. We got. Yeah, food. yeah. Sounds like a match made in heaven. Let's say That's this right. sounds like a really uncomfortable date all of a sudden. <laughs> Any, it's awkward. Yeah. If I if I go on a date and I get to have beer and pizza, that's a successful date whether I seal the deal or not. I gotta be honest. <laughs> like, I mean, even if I go out with my wife and I get to have beer and pizza, I'm that's a good date. All three of you guys in the, our, our third party who has abandoned us. Hey, the guy's got responsibles. Yeah, y'all are married, huh? Just me. Yep, yep, yep. Well, hey, it's it's not an easy <laughs> life, but we... we we champ through it, you know. Yeah, we yeah. Do our best. I don't know. They make pizza and food all the time. That sounds pretty awesome to me. Well, you know, I mean, we try. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm just glad that you guys do, and I'm glad Absolutely. that you found the passion for it and that you enjoy it. It and is fantastic. Every, I haven't had a bad piece yet. Thank yep. you, thank you. We appreciate it. It truly is. It's work. I'm not gonna lie. Oh it's yeah. Work. And, and as there, most good things are. It's a labor of yeah. love, though. It if is a labor of love. If it's good and you enjoy it. That's awesome. You make money at it, even better. Yeah, it, it, it truly is a part. labor of yeah. love. I mean, the Hunter S. Thompson said, "Anything we're doing is worth doing right." Absolutely, well you know, spoken. It involves right. effort. It you does. Know? It N- does. N- well, nothing comes free. I feel on that. 
let's uh, since our final party joined us for the last note, uh, I say let's say thank you very much. Thank uh, you. Cheers to StarCraft. Happy cheers fifth Star. anniversary. Thank you, Mike. And um, appreciate it. What, what's what's the phrase? Salon or something like that? Salon Yeah, that. Nostravia. Nice driveway. Nostravia. I'm Salou. gonna screw it up though. Prost. So while I just made it back for the goodbye. We do have a legacy drawing to do oh. before we close out. Well, do we want that to be part membership. of the show, or do we want those folks to I come in to hear, go hear part of the show? Because I don't know where everyone's at. Huh. But I think the person that can draw it for us is this gentleman oh, I like right that. here. You well, get to let me, draw. Let me flip the speaker me? on, and you get we to can draw call, the legacy uh, member. People to attention. Let's do that every year at the for for context. I'm honored. Every year at the anniversary party, um, the all the mug club members are thrown their numbers are thrown into a bin. Okay. And someone gets to draw one of those numbers, and whatever number that is wins the legacy mug. It's Darryl, a lifetime membership go, to Starcraft Brewery. So the only uh, the so only new mugs that come in here are the legacy. We call everybody's attention who is here at the uh, Starcraft anniversary. Uh, we are about to do the drawing for the legacy mug membership. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Absolutely. So excited. This is the fifth year anniversary, and this will be the fifth legacy. And so we are going to let Mike draw. This is, who is uh, going to be our legacy member? So this member? is Mike Scalisi. He's the gentleman who owns uh, Scalisi's Pizza here. We're going to have him do the drawing. As long as he pulls my number, we're going to be on good terms. Oh, man, there's a lot of pressure here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> drum roll, please. Can we get the audience to do a drum roll? I'm about to draw your number. Who's got the most money? <laughs> I'll give you three beer tokens. I could be bought. <laughs> three beer tokens. Here we go. <laughs> Mug number Wait, goes to... Not that one. Not that one? Not that one. Oh, should I mention it? <laughs> Mug number, number... I can't tell if it's a 601 or a 109. Shut up. It's got to be 109. It's 109. 109. <laughs> But if I turn it over, it's a 601. This game is rigged. Becky I works here. I think going on. <laughs> this game is rigged. I'm not giving you okay, That's yeah. not my number. I don't like you anymore. <laughs> she cheated. Cheater. That's really your mug number? Are you kidding? <laughs> what does she win? That's. What do you win? So, yeah. Uh, uh, I'll go to Mr. Daryl here for an explanation of lifetime mug membership. I win respect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, membership at the brewery every year is a renewal. When you renew, you can enter for a legacy membership. And if you win, it's a lifetime membership. No more payments. Well, and so. a special mug on a special shelf. Rigged. Special? Becky cheated. <laughs> I think she did somehow. <laughs> she cheated. <laughs> Let me pull another ticket. Oh, 109. Another one. 109. She won twice. Yeah, it's, they're all the same. She keeps winning. <laughs> Congratulations. Enjoy your mug. Thank you. <laughs> How did that happen? How does that happen? How does that happen? Oh, well, great. Somebody had to win. Somebody had to win. Well, since we've got everybody half paying attention to us, does uh, Mr. Darrell want to say anything to thank everyone for coming out? Yeah, I'm putting you on the spot. Look at me like that. I don't care. Well, thanks for coming out. Let's go to six years. I like it. So thank you all for coming out. Hope everyone's having a good time. And let's drink some beer. Let's drink some beer, have a good time, and we'll see you next year. And thank you, Mike, for providing us great pizza. Thank yes. you. Pleasure to be here. Yeah. Are we done? Oh, I mean, I'll like fucking with you. We gotta cut. No. I need food. <laughs> we gotta come back from that and finish God damn it. I need food. Chicken wings. Hot. <laughs> God, the bomb I want sauce. Wings. Bring the bomb sauce out. I would fuck a chicken wing right now. Anyways. Why did. Why did... Back to beer. <laughs> back to beer. Imagine fucking chicken wings. <laughs> Imagine a chicken wing fucking you. <laughs> chicken fucker. <laughs> you get chicken Oh, it's not the first time in my life I've been persecuted for my scientific endeavors. <laughs> so, welcome back. Um, that was some weird shit. <laughs> so, we had another beer we were going to go into, but I think with the length of this episode and the highlights that we've enjoyed on this fine day, we're going to finish this one out um, with with what was this beer? Does, did, did you this want to Blue talk Devil. about what we're drinking? A little bit of Blue Devil, Daryl. So if you're at the anniversary it. party, everybody had a little chance to sample this, and it was fantastic. So, anyways, Mr. Daryl, I actually like it now more than or I did Jim because Daryl's the, uh, giving me the deer in the headlights look. <laughs> Tell us about the Blue Devil. The Blue Devil's a great beer. Goodbye, motherfuckers. <laughs>
<laughs> Sad. Jim, come you on. You can do better. Okay, well, pick, I mean, I pick pick do a lot better. Right. And let's finish this out. Come on. It's a nice ale. It's it's Has refreshing. It's crisp. The blueberries. Honey. <laughs> the, honey. The blueberries are Wheat. subtle. The sweetness is subtle. It's not overpowering. It's a nice beer if you want to drink a lot of something. You and could if you drink a get lot lucky, of this. Drink it up. Bullshit. Uh, <laughs> no you could have. Bull- and it would have worked. Don't you dare say bullshit. He's not wrong. <laughs> you said no. He's not wrong. <laughs> See? It would have worked. I was asked to talk about this beer, Shit. and they still hijacked it anyway. Yeah, I know. So, so maybe. No, Johnny maybe. asked to talk about the no, beer. No, no, it's cool. Maybe just the guy the who made it is. should describe the beer. I tried, I tried, and he gave up. Where maybe. did he describe? It was an ale, blueberry, and honey. Uh, I did a good job. You did great. <laughs> maybe I should do your job. Hallelujah. I don't get paid for what I do, so. <laughs> I'll come do your job. I want to get paid, though. Yeah. yeah. Anyways. I don't get paid a if lot. If you weren't at the anniversary party this year, 2024, we encourage you to come out next year and enjoy. If you're not part of the Mug Club, they do the re- Mug Club renewal membership. In July. In Absolutely. July, just before the uh, the anniversary party. So if you want to become part of the, uh, was it one with the ship, one with the crew kind of thing? Yeah. If you, one of, if you well, want to become one of us. And the best part is you, you get to renew before the anniversary party and if you if you're if a you current renew, man. Or, or buy yeah. or buy or if buy, there's yeah. somebody who doesn't have one and then you buy a mug and there's a chance that you could win the lifetime mug mm. you know like becky did yeah the yeah. woman behind the bar right now yeah. the game's rigged totally ignoring it probably that's is. Fine. it's probably unfair is. i love we'll keep talking mug. shit about i want it give it to me okay. <laughs> i don't know how so you're gonna have to come back next yeah. year try well, hey, yeah, this is my second yeah. year you've so, been on the yeah. podcast now so yeah, like your great. chances of getting into the rigged are competition probably are probably less probably less i'm one of three <laughs> Asshole, not rigged. <laughs> yeah. <Why are> you <laughs> one, <laughs> yeah. one of three next year it's gonna be yeah. me you or well it could be it could be it could be logan or it could be what's really weird is last year 110 one and this year, 109-1. Oh, that's so weird. I got that's like really eight, weird. I got like weird. eight years to win. <laughs> yeah. I'm in. <laughs> like, how yeah. does that happen? I'm 96. I'm 66. Imagine being 49 <laughs> and bottom of the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I imagine that's what 49 looks like for me. <laughs> Anyways, back somewhat on drag. It's a hell of a good weekend. It's a hell of a good time. We've had a great Get time. Get together with some great friends, great family. It, it's a great event. Bring your family out. They got a petting zoo like on the weekends. I Not mean, they next might year, have though. It. We're changing oh. shit up. Oh, all right. So next year's all be a little you have bit to different. worry about is that you get to eat Mike's pizza. You get to see and the scaly pizza. Oh, and Jim's nuts pizza. are there. Jim's nuts are there. And Jim's nuts are delicious. There. You're gonna find the girl that fell in love with Johnny. Oh. Oh my. Woo-hoo. Yes. She's hunting you down, sir. <laughs> <laughs> let me read. Is let she me coming look. back. Let me read to you the Anywho, story of Johnny. Thanks for tuning in this to this uh, special episode release of the High Gravity Podcast. She's in <laughs> love with you. I don't know where we're going to end this or what we're going to do with it. So. Thanks, Keith and Mark. and uh, I don't remember everybody else who participated in the interviews, but thank you all for joining yep. us and uh, burning through the pain with all of us. Godspeed. Somehow speed. I got roped into it. We'll hope to see you next year. And... Uh, yeah, we'll go from there. We're going to do this in a few months. Johnny's a bitch. A few months. Yeah, yeah we're going to do a live oh, bottle share. We'll talk about it later. Oh, yeah. That'll be... Tune- I didn't tell you yep. about that. <laughs> we'll tune oh, into we're that. We're doing a bottle share. Nonetheless, on podcast. have a good okay. time. Enjoy some cold beer, warm beer, whatever the hell you need. Just don't drink from the well. Yeah. Please don't drink from the well. If you didn't learn anything today, at least remember this. Beer is the answer that makes everything better. Can't remember the question. But who cares when you have a cold one in your hand? Remember, everybody, drink responsibly, drink high gravity. Most importantly, drink well. (laughs) Okay, not the well. Life's too short for bad beer. Stay Stay frosty, my friends. friends.